week I will not be in school the whole entire week. So this is the comprehension check that I put together and I found a way that I can infuse Pi Day into reading a language art. Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel and to another week in my classroom. This week I will not be in school the whole entire week. It's a five day school week but I am taking some very much needed mental health days at the end of the week. Tomorrow I have an appointment so I'm actually taking a half a day and then I will not be here Thursday or Friday. So I'm actually working half this week half of the time this week. I'm actually recording today's video after school. It's been a very eventful Monday. It's been another manic Monday. I usually don't have planning times on Monday other than Spanish, but Spanish is in my classroom and I stay in my classroom, so I was busy doing some other things. And then in my homeroom class, which I had this morning, we went ahead and I introduced them to the Wonders Unit for week five because the other class was introduced to it, but they weren't. So they went ahead and they used a little foldable that I showed in last week's vlog. And they went ahead and looked at the essential question. They looked at the video, completed the close activity, started answering some of the questions. They listened to the listening comprehension. We read the shared read poems. We discussed literary devices in poetry. We discussed the different parts of poems. So it was very eventful. And finally, my homeroom class were able to receive their poetry portfolios, dedicate it, and start writing their bio poems. The afternoon class didn't because we were under a deadline. I work with another team leader in fifth grade, and this Wednesday we're actually having an FSA parent night. FSA stands for Florida Standards Assessment. So we're gonna have like an informational night for the parents so they can learn more about the FSA. So we had a deadline to meet, and I wanted to finish up the documents that we were going to show the parents and give to the parents. So I was working on that. So to help out a little bit with that my afternoon group only had independent work which is fine because I didn't want to continue with them because they're already ahead of the other class and I didn't want them to be more ahead than they already are so that worked out fine and it actually works out because tomorrow I have them in the morning before I leave so I can go ahead and teach them and then when I have my homeroom on Wednesday I can catch them up to where this class is it's gonna be fine I'm not even gonna stress it out I wanted to show you that I did put the Women I Admire paragraphs that the students created last week. I just finished putting them outside, so I wanted to show you how that looks. So here are the paragraphs for the Women I Admire in formative writing. I actually gave it a title so that anyone that's passing by can see what standard is addressed with this activity and what this activity title is. So as you can see, I'm just going to do a pan view first and then I'll do a little bit more close up. So this is not everyone in my class, but I tried to put as many as I could out here. And you can see that these are the same ones that I showed you last week. And again, when you flip through, all the way at the bottom is their paragraph that they wrote about that particular woman and why the students admire that woman. So these came out really, really nice. Some of the students are still trying to finish theirs. There, there were some students that were not here last week, so they're trying to finish it up. But overall, I'm really happy with how this activity came out and they did a pretty good job. So I'm really proud of them. And yep, that's our hallway display. And I haven't actually showed my little gel clings. These are actually on the inside of my door window. And I'm gonna show you how I actually put them on my doors which is different from how I put them on my doors in previous years. So let me just open up the door so I can show you. So I usually just separate them. I just, you know, space them out all around the door window, but the students usually touch them and they mess with them and then they fall to the floor and then they get lost, et cetera, et cetera. So what I actually ended up doing this time and this year, I peel off one of the plastics, but the other plastic I leave right on so that they're kind of protected. And when I'm done, I can just take them out, put the plastic, and store them away if I want it to. But those are my cute little door window decorations for St. Patrick's Day, which is this Saturday. So yeah, that's basically most of what I did today with the students. And tomorrow, I'll try to continue with The Wrinkle in Time. I'll introduce the poetry portfolio to my morning group because they haven't 
done that yet, but that's fine. They can do it and write their bio poem. And we can read a little bit of A Wrinkle in Time. Not too much because this class is actually more ahead than the other class. But I did assign it for homework. And the good thing is the school had enough copies that both of my classes, I have 36 students in total. All, of, all 36 students can get a copy of their book signed out and checked out so that they can actually read it at home. So I assigned chapters one, two, and three. They have to read up to chapter three tonight, and tomorrow I'll do a little check for understanding, kind of quiz, so I know whether or not they actually read the book. And we'll have a nice little discussion about those three chapters, and hopefully we'll read one more chapter. My goal is to finish A Wrinkle in Time by next week. Next week, at the end of the week, we only go to school next week from Monday through Thursday, because Thursday is the last day of the grading period and then Friday is the teacher work day and then the students are off for spring break for a whole week. So that's my goal, to finish A Wrinkle in Time right before spring break. And I actually did buy the original film that was from 2003. Amazon had it for $4.99. So after we finish reading the book, I'll have them see that movie so that they can compare and contrast. And students that have gone to see the new movie can also compare and contrast. So that's it for today. I know it's kind of short for a Monday and I don't think this vlog is going to be too, too long since I'm only going to vlog. I just finished vlogging for today. Tomorrow's only half a day, so I'll vlog probably during my planning time and also a little bit in the morning. And Wednesday, I'll definitely vlog and I'll show you the sub plans that I'll leave for Thursday and Friday. So that's it for now and I'll catch up with you tomorrow. And by the way, as you may have noticed, my hair is up in a pineapple bun again. The school is very hot. Apparently, since the time change, the timers on the AC are not working right. So it's been a very hot day. So my hair is up and hopefully the air will be a lot cooler in the building tomorrow. Here's to hoping. All right. So I'll catch up with you tomorrow. Good morning. It is now Tuesday, March 13th. And just before I start today, I wanna to give a quick shout out to my niece, Vanessa, whose birthday is today. Today she is 10 years old. Oh my goodness, I can't believe it. Tia Mari loves you so, so, so much, and I hope you have a fabulous birthday and I can't wait to see you. So, back to the vlog. <laughs> I just had to do that because she's my one and only niece. I have one niece and one nephew, and I love them so, so much. They're very, very special to me. So today is Tuesday, like I mentioned, and today I am working half a day. So I will be showing you what I'm going to leave for my afternoon group to do. And just in case they don't have a substitute, I'll leave a nice little package for them to complete the afternoon so that they have the work for English and language arts and they can complete it on their own. So I will show you what I will be doing today. The goal is to introduce the poetry portfolio to my morning group this morning and have them write their bio poem. We're also going to discuss chapters one, two, and three of A Wrinkle in Time, and hopefully read chapter four, and I'll assign the next chapter for them to read tonight. I will be assessing their knowledge of chapters one, two, and three because I did assign it for homework last night. I did tell them to make sure they read up to chapter three, and I will be giving them a quick comprehension quiz just to make sure that they did read those chapters. All right, so I will catch up with you sometime during my planning time because I literally have less than five minutes before the kids are in. And I just wanna say, the weather in Miami is really weird. So last week it was a little cold, as you may have remembered from my vlog. Yesterday it was stifling hot. It was like in the 80s. It was very hot outside and it was very hot in the building as well because the AC wasn't working properly. This morning we wake up, to 52 degrees and supposedly is going to get even lower as the week goes by. And I know that's nothing compared to what our friends in the North are experiencing. Most of them are going through their third winter storm in about two weeks. So I am sorry, my heart goes out to you all. Please stay warm and safe. So let me see what happens for the rest of the day. And again, I'll catch up with you sometime during my planning time before I leave for the day. All right, so it's actually time for me to go. I wasn't able to vlog during my planning time because I was finishing up with what the students were going to do when I left, and I also had to check in with the office to give them a form for my absences for this week. But I was able to go ahead and finish reading up to chapter four of A Wrinkle in Time with my morning group, 
And they also got introduced to their poetry portfolios and started writing their dedications and their bio poems. We got a little confused because for a moment they sent us a sub thinking that I was going to have a sub to cover me for the rest of the day. But then they needed the sub somewhere else because they're doing a couple of different meetings in schools with teachers and they need the sub to be able to float to the teachers whom they need for the meetings. And also there's a couple of other teachers. So the school was not able to secure a sub for me, which is fine. I left the packet for the students in my afternoon class to complete. And then after they're done with that packet, they need to make sure that they have read chapters one through five of A Wrinkle in Time since tomorrow they're gonna have a comprehension check. Talking about that, my morning group did a comprehension check for chapters one, two, and three. So let me show you really quickly what that comprehension check looks like. So this is the comprehension check that I put together and I just gave them 12 multiple choice questions that had information from chapters one, two, and three. Just to make sure that they did read because I did assign up to chapter three yesterday for homework. So I'm letting them know that they need to make sure that they read because if not, they're not going to be able to do well on these and I have to do the, the checks to make sure that they are reading every night for homework. So yeah, I'm just trying to make sure I do those comprehension checks to kind of make the students accountable for the reading to make sure that they have read so that then we can have the good discussions that we need to have about those chapters in class. Let me show you the packet that I left for my afternoon class. So for my afternoon class, since we are still trying to finish unit for week five of Wonder, and also we need to target unit six week five, which we are, we are behind, but I'm trying to do my best. Unit six week five, they both deal with poetry. So we went over these words yesterday. So this, they should be able to do using context clues. Then we're gonna go over metaphors, which they know. So they just have to underline the metaphor and write the two things that are being compared. They're gonna read this poem on the spelling bee and complete these three questions about it which goes over theme and then they're going to read this poem and go over the narrative poem genre that we are going over they need to summarize the events and find out the words that repeat because we're going over repetition and then they're going to go over stanza and repetition again and complete these questions also based on the other poem on the spelling bee and they're going to read this one, which is from unit six, week five, which we needed to do last week. But I, again, I'm behind. I'm just trying to do catch up here. They're going to read me as a mountain. And then they're going to answer questions about it, which also deal with theme. So that's fine. And then they're going to go over imagery and personification and complete these questions based on this part of the poem, me as a mountain. So that's basically what I have left for my students in the afternoon class. So they have these packets already so that after lunch, when they get split to the classes where they're going to, they know exactly what to do. And if they do finish before time, which some of them might, they are to read uh, up to chapter five of A Wrinkle in Time, or they can continue because tomorrow they're going to have a comprehension check for chapters four and five, just to have a recall of facts, just so I know that they have read up to that chapter. All right, so that's it for today, which was my half day, and I'll catch up with you tomorrow. Good morning, everyone. So I have a confession to make. I know that you just saw the clip that shows me turning the date to March 14th, which is Pi Day, but I actually did not get a chance to vlog at all on March 14th, which was yesterday. Today's March 15th, and I am going all natural today, embracing my inner beauty, outer beauty, natural beauty. That's what I'm going with today, and I really need it. I need to just let myself be. So I'm actually off today and I came to school because I was in school last night till almost nine o'clock because we have our FSA parent night and FSA stands for Florida Standards Assessment. So fourth and fifth grade got together, we worked on a PowerPoint together and we showed that PowerPoint to the fourth and fifth grade parents that came in last night to inform them about what the tests entail, what's gonna cover, and how long it's going to be and when it's going to be tested and what are we doing to prepare their students and what they can do at home. 
So yesterday was a very, very busy day for me. So I apologize for not filming. I wanted to show the students working on their pie activity that I created in Fused into Language Arts, but it, there, there just wasn't any time. While the students were working on the activity, I was making sure I was providing them a sample so that they could go ahead and do that. But it's okay, I'm just gonna catch up with you and let you know what happened yesterday. So yesterday was Pi Day, and I only teach re reading and language arts, which is fine. I found a way that I can infuse Pi Day into reading and language arts. So we created a Pi Ku, which is a take on a Japanese haiku of three line poems. So basically with a Pi Ku, the first line has three syllables, the second line has one syllable, and the third line has four syllables, which represents Pi 3.14 or the rounding of pi up to the nearest hundredth. So the students did that, which was also like an art project, and I'm very happy that they went ahead and do that. And I'll show you their examples next week, because I just don't have time this morning to show you, because I already put them up and they're outside in the hallway, and there's students in the hallway right now, so I don't feel comfortable kind of like filming that right now. But I'll show you next week's vlog. I will show you my example and what the paper looks like. So I'll do that. And yesterday after Pi Day, or yesterday after the students finished their Pi Coups, we went ahead and we continued reading A Wrinkle in Time and discussing it in class. So that's basically all we've done. Both classes have started on their poetry portfolios and their bio poems, which they will continue next week with couplets and limericks and so forth. We will not be here for St. Patrick's Day because it is on a Saturday and I will not be here tomorrow, but it's okay. We can do that next week, perfectly fine. So let me show you the Paiku activity and my example. And I'll also show you my sub plans for the next two days that I have left for the supper today. So let's go ahead and do that now. So this is the Paiku paper that I created myself. I got the idea for the Paiku online on a website, which I'll link below, which has a whole bunch of different activities that you can do with your students. And I started by explaining at the top what Pi was and why we celebrated on March 14th every year. I gave them an example of what a Pi Ku is here and here. So three syllables, one syllable, four syllables, and the same thing here. And here is the paper where they would do it. So of course, Pi is related to circles, the circumference and the diameter, and the radius as well when we're looking for the area of a circle. And in the middle, they have their three lines so they can write their Pi Ku there by they write their first name and on the edge on the outer circle they create a design that goes along with the pi ku that they created so let me show you my examples this is the first example that i created with my morning group and butterflies glide swiftly through skies that's my pi ku on butterflies and what i told the students is just choose a topic or a subject that you want to write about that's what poets do when they write poetry they write about a specific topic or their feelings or anything that they are thinking about. And then I just created my illustration around the circle. Now, because I have two classes, I always end up creating an example for each class. So this was my morning class example that I created. And this is my example for the afternoon class that I created. This one, I decided to go a little bit more detailed, as you can tell by my Zentangles in the background but I had fun with it. So magical times happen daily, why not? Some of my students told me, why don't you do it on pencils and magic wands? I'm like, you know, that's funny. But magical times, because I consider classroom instruction to be magical at times, but they happen daily. So then I drew all these different illustrations that are related to magical things. And this is my interpretation of the Harry Potter wands. I know it's not the best, but it's there. And I still have to finish because like I said, I went into a lot of detail. So basically they do it on their paper and then of course afterwards they'll cut around the circle so it just looks like this. And that's exactly how uh, the students were able to do it and how it is displayed on our bulletin board outside in the hallway. So that is our Pi Ku activity. Now, as far as sub plans go, right here you see two days worth of sub plans. One for today, March 15th, one for tomorrow, March 16th. So I am very detailed, and again, my template, I cannot take full credit. I actually created this template after being inspired by Pocket Full of Primary. So if you want her template, please make sure to check out her Teachers Pay Teacher store, which I'll link down below, and her channel as well, which I'll also link in the description box below. But basically, it includes all the detailed plans and a sheet 
where the sub can write a comment and let me know which students were following the rules and which had trouble following the rules. I provided a sub roster for them to take attendance. And here is the activity for today. It is on a wrinkle in time. This is from the book umbrella, which I really love. Their novel studies, I always buy novel studies from them for every book that I read with my students. And basically this one is split into every two chapters and the students have read up to about chapter six. So they're going to complete these questions and the chapter summary pages for each of these first six chapters. And that's what they're gonna be doing today. And I color code my groups. So my morning group is blue because that's my favorite color. That's why they're in a blue folder. And my afternoon group is green because that's my co-teacher's favorite color. So that's how I went ahead and I organized that. So for tomorrow, again, it's the same sub plan template, but it is updated with the activities for tomorrow. And the same thing, I'm very detailed when it comes to my sub plans. And here's the afternoon and tomorrow they have recess. Hopefully they'll get them indoor recess. Sometimes they do not, the subs forget or they're not able to. And that's their comment form as well. And I, another sub roster so they can take attendance. Tomorrow's activity, and these are things that I created. So today's activity for the sub are things that I got from the book umbrella. Tomorrow's will be things that I created. This is my annotation sheet. What I went ahead and did is I put all seven chapters here because they need to read up to chapter seven by this weekend, but hopefully they get to do it in class today, uh, tomorrow as well. They have to choose each annotation symbol here once, and then the extra one for chapter seven, they could choose one uh, that they like. They'll draw their symbol here and then add their annotation comment, one annotation per chapter. And then I'm having them do a personal response for chapters one, two, and three, which is a double-sided sheet. So they have two questions on this page, two questions on the back page, and then they're gonna do the personal response for chapters four and five. So again, they have two questions on this first page and two questions on the back page. Along with that, they're going to do this little booklet that I created on the three misses, and the directions are here. Basically, they need to draw a picture, so they kinda need to visualize and use the descriptions from the book to draw what each of the misses looks like, and on the lines here, they'll write a short description of who they are and what they're capable of doing. So that is what they're going to be doing tomorrow. So those are my sub plans for the next two days. So that's basically all that we did yesterday and what they're going to do for the next so I'm not here. I'm really looking forward to this time that I need to take for myself today and tomorrow because I just really haven't been feeling well and I really need to take a mental break to do some self care and just take care of myself because like I keep seeing, you know, on Instagram and on social media, you can't pour from an empty cup. And right now my cup feels very empty. I've been feeling very overwhelmed. So I'm just going to listen to my body, listen to myself and just take care of me. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. So I hope you enjoy this vlog. If you did, don't forget to hit the like button, leave a comment down below and let me know what you liked about this week's vlog. Also, if you haven't subscribed, consider subscribing and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any future videos. And I'll see you next week. Have a beautiful, magical day, and don't forget to smile.